morning everybody today is such a big day i'm so excited to show you the developments that are gonna happen it's a big change we're putting in the frame for the bed Octopus hat did it. See, it's all about the octopus hat. It draws in the other it creatures. It did, it did. <laughs> Couch. It's not that heavy at all. <laughs> Yay! Twenty stones high, like from the biggest one to like tiny little pebble. Yeah. Look at it, it's just covered in moss. It's just freaking cool. It's so cool. Yeah, I a lot of people watch about it, so I just assume I'm like, yeah, this must be cool. Yeah, that's awesome. it. Turkey oh. tail. Love it in it. It's really freaking beautiful. Oh, 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 nice job. Okay, that wasn't half bad. It's pretty good. <laughs> It doesn't take, have very much flavor though. The only problem with the GoPro is it doesn't have a super close focus range. Oh look, there's a freaking tanker. Look so cool. They probably don't let very many people go there anymore. Probably not. Mm -hmm. And it makes it way easier. Yeah, this is nice. There's quartz everywhere. Like it's almost an unreal color. Yeah, it's like red. It's crazy. fits in the van.
I was just thinking I should probably explain what I'm doing up here. So the roof is here, the wall is here, and there's a little like piece of metal along here where the roof and the wall meets and it gets condensation on it because the insulation is above it, the wall is behind it, and it's kind of it's part of the way that the roof attaches to the wall of the van and it's not insulated. I've insulated on top of it, bes beside it. So I'm trying to use this tape as like a little guttering to hold the insulation in that place. Here's the other side of the van and the wall. And you can see up there, focus, little wet drips. So this piece of metal is like between the wall and and it runs the entire length of the van. So in order to make sure I'm not setting myself up for any future mold or leaks or moisture problems, I'm gonna make sure it's all insulated in some way or other. Even just a little bit's gonna make a difference. Benefits of doing a van build in the winter, you can see all of this moisture in these little droplets. If I was doing this build in summer, I would never know going to be really tricky because there's only wood here and there's not wood there so I'll probably have to try and figure out how to put wood there but I like it I keep saying with every new job that this is the most challenging thing that I've done on this van build since so far and here we are yet again This is what I'm working towards, okay folks? That. So yeah, you'll see this still, but I'll find some way of gluing this together. Cause that is an easier glue. Would that look nice? Yeah, this will look really nice. awesome so many jobs that you have to do before you can do other jobs and then order and breaking it down is just so freaking complicated like that. This will cover this rough edge and it will look really nice. 
I still want to varnish this, this piece. I really think it looks beautiful. This will go along where the wall meets the ceiling. Look how beautiful it is. I almost want someone to paint these leaves and these acorns. Actually, I know exactly who could do that. Hmm. You were right. I stand by that call. And now I'm in Canada almost four years later being like, oh, I have this storage unit. What a pain. Yeah. They're like birdies just down the front there. Uh, like, even. not sandpipers, but like, oh, hey, buddy. Oh, oh. Oh my god, he's huge! I've never seen a sea lion here, just seals! This is so close. That's massive. Hi, friend. Curious. That's not very far. <laughs> but it was so quick. <laughs> My octopus amazing. hat did it. See, it's all about the octopus hat. It draws in the other it creatures. It did, it did. Praise <laughs> the octopus hat. Yeah. <laughs> Let's find an octopus now. Oh no. Hi, buddy. Go see. Go see. This is the best spot in summer. It's just like sunny and beautiful. I would Glorious stay sunset. all night, yeah. Like bring a sleeping bag, literally Down make yourself comfy. Yeah. Thank you. Good. No bugs, nothing. Nothing. It's very nice. Perfect for medicine. Oh, look at the colors of these ones. I think this is either very brand new or it's a different type. I think type. it may be a different one. But they look beautiful. Because but this one, that's definitely we know. A turkey tail. Yeah. Turkey. What the heck? <laughs> that was such a satisfying noise. <laughs> wow. Look at look at Jupiter's head. Last do something. It's not gonna be big. <laughs> wow, that looks sick. How it's coming at the bottom is amazing. That's because the fuel's at the bottom. Right. Now put some logs on.
already. It's been an eventful few days. <sighs> I had a leak from my diesel heater. The damn thing had a loose connection on one of the uh, fuel lines and it leaked diesel fuel all over my floor. So I currently have a big pile of kitty litter to try and absorb the smell and anything on the floor. So it's a bit gross. So I have, it was, it was, and it's been below zero, like minus 10. And I just haven't had the capacity to work on the van. Now it's back to around zero, maybe minus one or two. And I'm back in here working, yay! There isn't any heat, I'm rugged up. Um, I'm gonna show you the diesel heater and where it leaked and I'll show you what I've just done. I didn't film it because I just needed some time and space to just focus on one thing. Trying to get started on framing furniture is kind of a really big step and I really needed to just have the mental space to not film and think about only planning. So let me show you. Here is the heater. You are probably all familiar with this thing. My one just has this little case. Here is the fuel filter and the pump, which I eventually want to replace with a silent one. And none of these connections have any kind of crimping on it. And this one here connects to the top of my diesel tank, which eventually I think I might get a big one, but it connects to here and it had slipped up here. And I think what had happened is because it's been so cold in here, everything shrunk and got loose. And as things get loose, fuel liquids can escape. So I think that's what happened. It made a bit of a mess. It's really cold and I can't smell the fuel right now. And the uh, kitty litter I think is doing a really good job. But I've started work on some framing. Let me show you. So here is my spare bed come couch seat or beside my bed seat. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Couch. And then if I have guests, about there. Wouldn't that be neat? And then I can use all of that for storage as well. Oh, it's going to be good. Sweet. And then the bed sits at this level. I really wanted to have uh, a new van where I can entertain. Like entertaining feels really important to me. So having a place where people can sleep, people can sit down, that isn't in my bed or on the bed, like another couch area. Super important, super cool, and I'm excited. Yay! Next job, clear this area so I can get the other side of the bed supports up and frame the bread, bit top of the bed, because once the top of the bed is framed, then I can start with the drawers in the middle because I think I'll work this way. Yeah, and if I clean this side out, then I can start bringing the oven in and put the oven in here. So I know what height to make my benches. Morning everybody. Today is such a big day. I'm so excited to show you the developments that are going to happen. It's a big change. We're putting in the frame for the bed and this is the milestone that has been sort of holding me up but sort of like it's been so cold that I haven't wanted to be in here to do anything. 
your bed frame is in. It makes building everything else easier because there's this solid non-negotiable fixture which you build around and because the bed frame has an extension that slides in and out it was so important for me to have that first before I could build cabinets, dinette, kitchen bench. So things are going to start moving quickly from here. Yeah so like this yeah all right with the slide out of 10 inches the dimensions aren't on this one but I have the dimensions yeah anyway um so there's a few kind of things to talk about yes like yay good yeah for your reference and others okay well then that that could work then okay Sweet. yeah and, and then I want to show you what I did here I put an extra piece of wood here okay so there's this and this so if we're screwing it in yeah that does help a lot because that's yeah obviously you know that the whole the that's what will be bearing the load yeah I think that'll be okay as long as you're not jumping <laughs> two people so I'll probably no. just sit at home and do that yay, yay! <laughs> yeah thank you sh should work yeah and this... I'm so excited about this uh, so we have like 80 and three quarters kind of thing okay Yeah, yeah, just about the same. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yay for square buildings. Yeah. <laughs> This is the bed, and then there's going to be a rope attachment to the roof, and I'm going to have a pulley here, and then we're trying to work out how to attach the metal piece to the bed to lift it up by, and whether the shackle, will, whether the piece will be out here. I'm going to look at Dyneema versus rope, and I've got to get some pulley hardware so that this can go up, and then on the bottom it's going to attach to a cleat which is a thing that looks like this. And the rope will lash off to a cleat. Nice. 80,000 impressions later. Would you please stop imitating me? It is starting to get very annoying. Cool. Yeah, I it's not that heavy at all. <laughs> Yay! Just trash. Uh, so, or yeah, I could go up and then you could, why don't you rest it? Yeah, okay. we'll see. Might be overthinking it, might just be reduced fine. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah, look <right>. at that! <laughs> <laughs> Try your drawer, it's not the greatest, but it's actually pretty good. Yeah. You now pull it out to pull it out. Ever again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, that's an epic sized bed. Yeah, totally. That's cool. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at this crazy thing. <laughs> You've done such an amazing job. Thank you. Like, it's exactly what I wanted. It's pretty darn strong. It's super the strong. Way it, the way it is, yeah. The I weakest what, points are probably these pieces of wood that are screwed into the wall. Well, I bet also like it's the way it's asymmetrical, you know, like um, I bet you it's way stronger like it is for sure. I could also sit right here and it would be just fine. Like, well, essentially I'm going to have probably more than one person on this bed totally. at several times. But yeah, like, so this is against. the weakest part when it's out like this, all that will be in here will be the plywood. Yeah. But the plywood will be thick, probably three quarter inch. Yeah, that's right. And it's enough to support. It would still be enough to support. Yeah, and you've got this really strong piece right here. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. This is a slide out bed, which is also going to be able to be lifted up to the roof. Via, oh yeah, via these nifty things. Yep. Look how pretty they look too. I think, I mean, I think it fits good. Yeah, there's room on, there's a little bump room on the other side, as it should yeah. be. So the shackle will go through the top of here, yep. and that's where my pulley will Give attach. Give it the highest possible pick point. And it will go up on this beautiful ceiling with the beautiful pulley. Won't that be freaking cool? <laughs> we have a bed. We have a bed, bed, bed. Look at that. Oh yeah. And then for getting stuff in and out of here, it can 
brazen lower and get out of the way. It's so good. Oh, I'm very, very happy. This design has worked and is coming together. Boo, yeah. Hi everybody. I am still working on the van and today I got gifted a whole bunch of plywood. So I wanted to show you what I got. And I just realized that I'm doing so much of this in the dark because it's winter, the days are short, and I've been so busy during the day that I run all my errands in the evening, including plywood reconnaissance. So let me show you what I was gifted. It's so generous. Thank you so much, my friends. And hopefully these pieces will be part of my new house. Keep the doors dry. Wait. everybody thank you so much for watching this video it was a lot of fun to make and it covered a long period of time I'm super stoked and psyched to have a bunch of van stuff to show you and the progress that we've made finally the cabinets under the bed the bed starting on the roof oh it's been so exciting so if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up give it a like and if you haven't already subscribed it would help out the channel a, a whole lot and I cannot wait to show you what we've got coming next for the van build some big changes oh like I'm so excited things like fridges and ovens and furniture and the whole thing is really shaping up and really starting to look like the floor plan and the vision I had in mind. It's coming to life. So thanks so much for being here. I love you all. Look forward to the next one. Bye.